Hello, we've got here eventually. Morning, everybody. It appears that uh, there are problems with Wi-Fi today, unfortunately. So I'm hoping that we're not going to drop out. If we do, we'll try and get back online again as soon as we possibly can. And don't forget, you can always catch up uh, with this on YouTube when we upload it later as well. So how's everybody today? It's been glorious this week, hasn't it? The sunshine has just not stopped. It's been fabulous. And I think it's going to carry on over the weekend too. Weekly weather report, obviously, because we're Brits. Uh, let's just have a look and see if I can find where we are. There are people and... saying good morning. Oh, lovely. Good morning, Rotha, Leanne, Cathy, Sue, Donna, Claire, Julia, Jill, Christine, Lorraine, Jenny, Emma, Sue. Tina, Laurie, Annette, Lucy, Christine, good morning to you all. Oh, fabulous. And Linda. That's all right. I still can't see it on my laptop, but there we go. So I will try and answer questions as we go. So we have had so many new fabrics in and we've got more coming in this afternoon. So I, I haven't got anywhere near everything here today. I've just picked out a few highlights. So do check out the website over the weekend. Um, don't forget, it was our birthday on Tuesday. We are eight years old. I kind of like, oh my God, how did we get here? We're eight years old. I think that's unbelievable. Um, so we are doing eight orders over the week from Tuesday through to Sunday. We'll get um, a little present in their order. We're not going to tell you what it is because we want it to be a surprise, you see. Otherwise, it's, you know, spoiling the whole thing, isn't it? Oh, there we go. I am. At, I can actually see myself now. So I should be able to let me mute that. Uh, I should be able to um, see the comments. Ah, there we go. I can see everybody now. Hello. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Lovely. Right. So anyway, and now we're now we're hooked up. That's fine. I'm going to show you the fabrics. What? Oh yeah. What are you saying to me? You were kind of halfway through explaining the eight, oh. eight presents in eight orders, and then you got oh look squirrel. I know. You can see I'm a nightmare to work with. I don't know how Charlie puts up with me sometimes. I really don't. Because I love you. Yes. Hopefully. Um, so yes, it's our birthday week. So don't forget if you're ordering you could be in with a chance of getting a little extra something because we're sending out eight extra little presents with any of the orders that we've received between Tuesday and Sunday. And there will be free PMP over the weekend as well. So until Sunday midnight, there'll be free PMP. I expect Leanne's sticking up the code in a minute. So you'll be able to grab that. And again, it will be in the email when we send that out later on. So today it's all about prints and plain. So I thought I'd show you a few of the new things that have come in and what patterns they would work with and how you can kind of put them all together. So now I know I've got this back out again, which is my, my lovely linen, my favourite lovely linen, chalky pink. Um, we've had this new one in. Now we've had this fabric in before, but in different colourways. But I love this. This is called Dusk. So it's our brush strokes one. Now I'm just trying to think if we've got no, we haven't. It's downstairs. We made a Regan sample in this and uh, with and we used the stripy rib to go with it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. But I just thought that it would look so nice with this. You could do a little top or a T-shirt in that and then like a peas blossom or even an Imogen and then have a lovely um, Desdemona skirt in the linen. A really lovely big full kind of maxi skirt or something like that would look really nice. I'm just going to see if I can see if we've got any questions because I've got new comments coming in. Uh, Louise says she's swearing her Amelia dress. I think she means wearing. <laughs> she made it from a duvet cover. Ah, oh, fantastic. What a brilliant idea. That's really good. Yeah, wearing, not swearing, she says. I like that. That's funny. That's cool. Uh, just checking to make sure that I'm not missing anybody. That's all. Helen Lou says she's just... Uh, discovered your tutorials absolutely brilliant love them clear and easy to understand oh good 
good. Just like I'm always telling you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, fantastic. Leanne's popped the PMP code up. There we go. So that's good. Now, this other one, which I think is gorgeous. We've got a little colour story kind of going on here. I've kind of broken it up into colour stories again because I think it kind of works then. And you can kind of imagine how the different fabrics are going to work together. These two are really nice. They are linen mixes. So they are a little bit heavier. They're kind of... Um, sort of trouser weight so these would be perfect for the Porsche trousers I think they're really nice actually and I think though that just picks out it's ecru and tan but actually it looks almost kind of blush colored so it picks up the colors in the brush strokes fabric mm. perfectly it looks really nice I love it um, Sharon's already earmarked it. She wants a Regan in that and she wants Porsches in that. So there we go. Um, I think that's going to work really nicely. We've also got this, which is another linen mix. Now, again, it's slightly heavier. So actually, it would make up beautiful. We've called this um, the Macintosh floral because it kind of looks a little bit Rennie Macintosh style flowers. But again, this would be beautiful in the Helena or the Amelia or even the Hippolyta, uh, or the Miranda, I could go on. Um, but again, it works really nicely, I think, with this navy. So you could even do like a Celia uh, tunic or something like that, and then match it with the Porsche trousers, or the Hero trousers would work really nicely in this as well. And we've got this, now this is lovely. I'm gonna have to undo it now to show it to you, because we've had it before. And the drape on this is just gorgeous. It's a luxury crepe. It is poly, but actually it is such a gorgeous quality. It really is. It almost has that kind of um, peach skin feel to it, if you know what I mean. And I think it's just lovely. I mean, it just goes so nicely with those three together. Are just gorgeous, aren't they? I love putting fabrics together. I could just sit here and play all day, actually. And when I was a fashion student, it was what I really enjoyed doing, putting colours and fabrics and mixing things to create a collection, which I really enjoy doing. Um, so have a think about those. I think they're really nice. I, I'm trying to show you fabrics that I wouldn't necessarily wear, but I think they actually work together really nicely. Um, again, it depends on what kind of colouring you've got, what kind of fabrics you go for. Um, I tend to personally go for brighter, clearer colours because I think that just, I'm pale skinned and dark haired. Um, somebody said I was a winter the other day. I think I probably am, I don't know. Um, but if you've had your own colours done, then you'll kind of see where you're going to fit with all of these. I think these are really lovely. Actually. They're fabulous and they all kind of work together we've also got the um luxury crepe in white as well which is lovely because this is just ideal for little t-shirts or vest tops or something like that just so that you can layer things over i love that that white looks really nice just as a little soft peas blossom or something like that we're going to try and do um a little vest top project to go in the sewing studio soon quite when i don't know but we were busy filming yesterday oh, yes. so, and uh, and that's actually really good i'm quite excited about that uh, a quick question from linda is it her spectacle excuse me is it her spectacle am i slightly blurry are you blurry right okay that's because we've got crummy internet so i've had to decrease the quality of the video to get this to work. Oh, there we go. So it's a tech issue, I'm afraid. For some reason, our internet is just being uh, completely stupid. It's having a stupid Friday, our internet. So what Charlie's done is he's decreased the resolution. So yes, I am a little bit blurry, unfortunately. Because it's alive, we have to kind of go, we are only as good as our internet connection, which is a bit pants today, I'm afraid. Um, is it gonna be better when we put it on YouTube? It should be proper quality when we put it on YouTube. There we go. So, yeah. YouTube. If you're finding it difficult to watch at the moment because it's a little bit blurry, the quality is not that brilliant. 
um, you can catch up and watch it on YouTube later. So the quality should be better on YouTube because it's not streaming live at the moment. Um, it'll be up there as a whole thing. So I'm really sorry about that. But unfortunately, we've got to kind of work with the tech and the internet with what we've got at the moment. So which is a bit poo, but there we go. Um, Kerry, do you think it's possible to use the linen to make a bomber jacket? Uh, absolutely, they would, yeah. It would be a lightweight one. Did you see the sewing bee? Wasn't Mark's bomber jacket totally ace? I absolutely loved it. I thought it was so cool. Um, and I have to admit, I have got the sewing bee pattern book. There is one that goes with the series. And uh, I think it's in there, actually, which is a really cool project to, to make. Um, I do quite like them. I don't know whether I'm kind of, oh no, you know, there's me saying, am I too old for a bomber jacket? Actually, Esme was wearing one, wasn't she? Yeah. And that actually looked quite cool. She looked like something out of the, um, oh, what was the, the crew that was part of Greece? The pink ladies, that's what she was. She looked like one of the pink ladies, but obviously hers wasn't pink, which I thought was quite cool. Actually, my bestie's a pink lady as well. Uh, let's have a quick look. Oh, you're liking the fabrics. Oh, that's good. Good, good, good. Um, the mixed, oh, that mixed linen too for the Cressida. Actually, now which one are you thinking of, uh, Tina? We've got the, the blue one or we've got the, or we've got the tan one or are you thinking of the floral? All of them, the, these two uh, would probably be a little heavy. It would probably be more boiler suity for the Cressida rather than jump suity, if you see what I mean. Um, but this one would work quite nicely. This has got a little bit more drape to it. And I think actually a couple of the other fabrics that I'm going to show you in a sec would be really nice for a Cressida. Um, in actual fact, this one would look super as Cressida. This brush strokes cotton lawn would be amazing. In actual fact, we've got darker colours of the um, luxury crepe as well and that would make up really nicely in a Cressida too. It's just got that kind of drape to it which is really nice. Um, oh so you can't see the brush strokes fabric or the blush linen on the website. They should be there. If not I will double check and make sure they are there. Um, let me have a quick look and see if I can see where they are quickly just so that I'm double checking. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, uh, Kerry says you are not too old. <laughs> Thanks, Kerry. Adele says you're great even when you're blurry. <laughs> oh. um, Jenny says, are the materials that you've shown sheer? No, they're not, actually. They are densely woven, but uh, they should be absolutely fine. Uh, Tina says she was talking about the blue... She says, OK, I'll do the hero trousers then. Perfect. This would be absolutely spot on for hero. I can't. No, I'm not going to have a play around at the moment because it's going to be really annoying to everybody else while I'm just sitting here squinting at my computer. So we'll have a look and double check and make sure that all the fabrics are on there. Leanne, if you can just double check and see if you can find them. Um, if not, go into the back end and just make sure they're available on all platforms. Then we should make sure that they're there for you. It was a bit of a last minute thing because literally we had this massive delivery yesterday whilst we were filming and it's just been a real rush this morning to try and get everything up online for you. So if I know you're kind of chomping at the bit, but they will be there. So don't panic too much. Even if uh, you have to wait until after we've finished, we'll make sure that they're all up and you can put them in your baskets. Uh, so it's kind of from me, Kerry Ann Hollis. Please give me some sewing love. I'm manically sewing teaching aprons ready for Monday morning. So, <laughs> well done, Carrie Ann. Keep going. You can get those aprons done. We're there supporting you. Don't worry. I'm keeping you sane. Oh dear. Well, I don't feel very sane myself, actually. But then all the best people are slightly odd, aren't they? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's why I married Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Outrageous. Anyway. Right, okay, back to the fabric. Back so the fabric. we've got a really lovely colour story going on here. Oh, there's this one as well. This is another kind of cotton linen mix, but it has got a kind of stripe through it. Now, this would be really nice because it's got that viscose element to it. This as a Cressida would be really lovely. 
Um, it's got that kind of stripe. I don't know if you can see that sort of stripe yep. going through it there, I which can. is really nice. No it should come out on, on the video. The It'll be clearer on yeah. YouTube later. On the YouTube, as they say. Um, I love this. This is really gorgeous. This would work as a Desdemona skirt as well, or even a Hippolyta or a Miranda. Um, actually, this next one as Miranda would be really nice. I'm going to pull it out so I can show it to you. Now, this, again, is a viscose mix. I love it. It kind of has that sort of slightly vintagey feel to it, doesn't it, which is really nice. So, again, this as a Cressida would work, but I think as a Miranda, I think this would be really lovely. Let me just show you the Miranda in case you're not familiar. My multitude of patterns. There we go. So that's the Miranda. Have we got one? I have actually got one. There we go. That's it. Now, unfortunately, we can't get this fabric anymore. Before you ask, we can't get hold of this anymore. This is an old sample, but actually a viscose rayon in uh, a Miranda works really nicely. It just makes it a bit more kind of tea dress like. So it has that kind of softness and that movement to it, which is lovely. And this would absolutely have that, which is really gorgeous. Again, it has that kind of wobble to it, that kind of viscose wobble, which is lovely. Let's pop that one back. There we go. Oh, uh, let's have a look. Uh, brush strokes oh. is on, thanks to Sharon. Fabulous, Sharon, thank you. Lovely. Oh. See, it's all a team effort. It's not just me at all. I've got Charlie behind the camera. I've got Leanne over at home sorting everything out. I've got Sharon downstairs pecking orders and making sure that everything's all sorted. So, yes, it is a team effort. So We're getting there. We are getting there. We are getting there. Morning, Linda. How are you? Hi, Amy. How are you? Might brave making some trousers now. Oh, go for it. Yeah, trousers are not, they're actually pretty. Do you know what? If you really wanted to do a pair of quick and easy trousers, our Rosalind pyjama trousers, I know, bear with me, but actually made in a viscose would be really lovely. I've got a pair of, um, you can't see them and I'm not going to show them to you today. I've got a pair of cargo pants on today, which are in uh, like a tent cell and I'm working on a pattern for them because I love them. Uh, but I think softer weight trousers are really nice. I'm actually getting out of my jeans at the moment, which is almost unheard of, but it's so hot here in the studio that uh, I've had to start wearing other things. So I've been living in my jumpsuits, in my Cressidas, and I've actually got my cargo pants on today. Who knows what I'm gonna wear to, oh no, tomorrow's Saturday, isn't it? Of course it is, it's Fra Fabric Friday, isn't it? Oh. I'm losing track of the days at the moment. I'm sure everyone else is too. You kind of have to wake up and look on Google Calendar and see what day it is. Or look at my phone and see, um, yeah, what we're up to. Oh, Ursula, Emma, I like your ideas. Ursula in that floral would be really nice, actually. That would be lovely too. Uh, Proper summer dress kind of feel. Yeah. Mary asks, just double checking before I cut out, should I wash the sweatshirt material before cutting? Oh, which sweatshirt fabric have you got there, Laurie? Um, you probably should be okay, actually, because if you're going to wash it, it's probably going to be at 30 degrees anyway. Um, don't tumble dry. Never tumble dry anything. I never bother to do that unless it's an absolute emergency and you need it dry that same day. Um, but you'll probably be okay, Laurie, actually. Uh, just if you can let us know which fabric it is, then we can double check for you. But that'll be okay. Uh... Sharon says she wore the Rosin PJ bottoms to work last week. Yes, she did. She actually came to work in her PJs. Can you believe that? <laughs> Outrageous behaviour. Quite right too. Uh, Amy says, what size does the Rosalind go up to? Ros goes up to 22 at the moment, but it's very easy to extend if you need to, um, or reduce the leg if you need to do that as well. Um, we have done... No, have we done a bit? I can't, do you know, I lose track of what tutorials we've done now. I have a spreadsheet that lets me know what I'm up to. So I'm going to have to refer back to that. But I thought we'd done a little bit on how to alter patterns like that. But I will go back and double check. Um, but it's a nice one to do, actually. It's a really nice one to do. It's very easy to put together because it's just like literally four pieces and pockets if you want. So it's dead easy. Um, we are going to do that as a project, I think which would be quite nice to do eventually. 
when we get around to more filming. Yep. Um, so don't forget, next week we've got the shop is kind of temporarily closed because we're stock taking. So do make sure that you get your orders in this weekend because we're going to put a close on everything from Tuesday through to Thursday because we have got to do our end of year stock take. And it's so much easier if we just kind of temporarily shut everything down and we can count everything that we've got and then we can put everything online. So we're going to have buttons and lots of other haberdashery items that we haven't got round to doing yet that were kind of in the shop. Um, but we need to put those online because otherwise how are you guys going to find them? So we're going to do that next week as well. And we want to make sure that we've got an accurate count of everything because we've been having a couple of little technical issues with the website saying we've got stuff and we haven't actually got it. So we want to get all of that sorted as well. So we're, I'm apologising now if anybody has had that where um, they've thought they've ordered something and we haven't got quite as much as we thought we had. So we're going to have a look at some technical issues with that as well. So next week, yes, it's going to be fun and games, trying to get everything sorted, which will be good. But everything will be on the website then. We'll have more stock, more haberdashery as well, and it will make it much easier for everybody, I think. So that's going to be good. Uh, Julia Sutton, you need my shirt. Well, I'm afraid you can't have it, Julia, because it's mine. But it is the Julie, it's the actual Rosalind pyjama top, believe it or not. And then I've just nicked the sleeve plackets from the Helena dress. How easy is that? It's actually very easy to do. Um, I tend to make it a size bigger than I am because I like it right, really nice and roomy. So this is just my Rosalind pyjama top. So actually, I've come to work today in my pyjamas. I wish I could, really. Um, outrageous. I know. Um, what is the pattern on the dummy behind you? Ah, this very lovely thing is our iris top. And we've used the rolled hem feature that I showed you how to do the other week in Technic Tuesday to neaten off the ruffles. Oh, well, close off as much as I can. There. It was in the... Um, yeah, it's on the Technic Tuesday in YouTube that we did a couple of weeks ago. And we've got this, the reason I've put her on the stand is that we've got this fabric back in stock again. So it's a little bit hit and miss sometimes with what fabrics we're able to get. Sometimes we're able to repeat things and sometimes we can't, which is really frustrating for you guys as well as us. So we try and get hold of things back in again if we can, if we know they've been really popular. And this is lovely. Actually, it's got some gorgeous colours in it. In fact, I'm going to show it to you now. Let me get this one out of the way. So here we go. Oh, that's it. It's the Showering Vine in Old Gold. It's 140 wide. It's 100% cotton lawn. And it's absolutely lovely. It really is. We've got this now in other colours. Do you want me to open it up? Uh, yes. Oh, literally, it's literally, we've just unpacked it. I haven't even taken off the labels yet. There we go. Un unwrapped it properly. So, there we go. That's lovely. I feel like Mr Rosenberg at his at show store, he's got all his fabrics laid out and he just rolls them out all over the, the other rolls, which is quite cool. It's lovely, actually, it's really nice. We've got this really gorgeous kind of dark emerald and we have the, oh, there we go. That's another one of our luxury crepes, actually, which I think works really nicely with it. I think that's quite cool. This fabric, this luxury crepe would be absolutely ideal for a pair of wide palazzo pants. That would look really nice, actually. I love that idea. That's quite cool. Now, I'm going to get into a bit of a model. So we've got this luxury crate comes in, I think we've got about seven or eight different colours. So do have a look at the website because they're all up there. They may not be next to each other because I haven't had a chance to sort out the order of the images in the um, silky and drapey section on the website. So do scroll down and maybe go on to the next page because all the new ones we've probably added in have gone to the bottom and I need to put them with everything else at the moment, but I just haven't had a chance to do that. But I think these two actually look really nice together, don't they? We've also got this in a little bit of navy as well. And what other colours have we got? We've got teal, lipstick, peacock, red. 
kind of mint. 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 I lost the word then. Yes. I, and uh, I, gold oh, as well, which is rather mint. nice. Gold. Um, uh, 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 uh. Tina, no, you'll be absolutely fine. It's four centimetres difference, so you'll be no problem in the width of the fabric. Uh, Sorry, that's a bit of a random answer. Remember to repeat the question. Yes, I will. Person. Otherwise, people won't understand what I'm talking about. Yes. So, Tina, yes, you're asking if the navy herringbone linen mix, it says 135 on the website, which it is, and the pattern says 140. That's absolutely fine. So don't panic about that. It's literally going to be two centimetres narrower when you folded it in half. So that's going to be fine. So you're okay with that one? Yes, Lorna, I've shown you that one. This is the, uh, the showering vine in old gold, which is on the iris behind us. Yes, Marilyn, it would be easy to make the PJ trousers slimmer if you want to. Um, you can kind of taper the leg. I would taper it evenly from the outside and the inside leg if you want a tapered leg rather than having them straighter. That would work really well. Um, you can't watch anymore, Julia. You've got to go and make a shirt. You've got to go make a shirt. Go make it. Make it right now. No, that's fine. <laughs> we'll be on YouTube later, so you'll be able to find the rest of the rest of the hour. So, oh no, Tina says sound's gone. Oh, it's, uh, it's okay here. Oh, I'm... good. No, uh, Mr. Rosenberg. I love Jeff. He's brilliant, isn't he? He's. We always see him at the shows. He's a really nice guy. He always says hello and everything. We have a bit of a chat. Yeah. Uh, do you have any trouser weight fabric to match the aubergine colour in the showering vine? Yes, we have. We've got uh, the mulberry uh, tensel. That would be absolutely bang on match for this. We had it in last week's Fabric Friday um, and it is still available on the website. It's gorgeous fabric, it really is. And that will pick out this darker sort of aubergine colour that we've got going on here. This is a colour and it actually works really nicely with the other showering vine colours that we've got too. We've got a russet one and we've got the silver and we've got a teeny bit of the salmon pink left as well. So that would work with all of those. It'd be a really nice combination. Lovely. Right, I'm going to move this out the way because I want to show you some other ones now. So I'm going to pop this lovely one at the back. There we go. I hope my ironing board's going to take all these fabrics. Uh, a quick question from Brenda. I have a long neck to suit a higher collar. Is it easy hack to change the PJ top uh, or um, the Cressida into more of a stand-up collar? Yeah, you can draft your own collar, absolutely. That would be, um, yeah, quite an easy thing to do. All you want to do is to, um, you could do it so that you've got a shirt front. Basically, what you could do, actually, is kind of hack it a bit. I'm just trying to think now. If you wanted to do a shirt collar on this, on the Cressida, it's going to change it slightly. You're going to have to put a shirt front on it. Mm. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work off the top of my head. You would have to redraft it because the nice thing about a convertible or a revere collar like this is that it's just got the facing finish. If you wanted to make a higher, like a shirt collar, you're going to have to change the way that you neaten off the front edge. So it would be more like a Hippolyta. So, yeah, let me have a think about that one because I'm thinking it's actually, it sounds a really easy thing to do, but it might be a little bit more complex because it's going to have a knock-on effect with other things, if you see what I mean. So, yeah, it's not impossible, but it would just mean a little bit few more alterations that we might initially kind of think of. So, we'll, yeah. Do that. I'm just reading your question now. Into more of a stand-up collar. You could do uh, something where you just flip the collar up at the back if you wanted to. Um, or you could put a shaped collar stand on there, which means it just kind of sits underneath the back of the collar and just raises it up slightly. So you could try doing that, but you still have that reveal effect at the front. Depends on the kind of look you're going for, really. Nice, interesting technical question. And that's got me thinking. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, that's just your kind of question isn't it, it is I love yeah it's pattern cutting pattern stuff I'm go I really want to try and do more stuff actually about pattern cutting this is a question I want to pose to everybody I would love to be able to do more pattern cutting stuff inside the sewing studio 
would you be interested in doing some flat drafting? The only, my only concern with this is that if we do like a how to draft your own bodice, it's trying to work out how to get it or to help you guys fit because it's all very well showing you how to do it because it's literally do this, do this, do this. But actually getting um, a bodice to fit you does require a bit more being kind of up close and personal. Do you see what I mean? So I'm trying to work out now how we can do that. So whether it would be a question of showing you how to draft something and then saying, okay, there are these common things that you might need to alter and then you decide which one you want to do in order to make it fit better for you does that does that are you kind of following me there I'm trying to think of ways to do it now even if we did a zoom thing I'm still not going to be able to help you get the fit do you see what I mean because I'm not going to be there hands-on getting it and sorting it but what we could do is to show things like small shoulder adjustment how to change the neckline, how to alter the armhole, that kind of thing. So a list of those kinds of alterations, would that be useful? Let me know. Either stick it in the comments, send me an email, or stick it in Slack if you're in the sewing studio already. It'd be interesting to see how people would want to work that, because we obviously want to try and do things that are going to help you guys. So hopefully, yes. Oh, people are... Oh, you're applying already. That's lovely. Love to do drafting. Yep, interested. Yes, please, like a challenge. <laughs> cool, okay. Well, that's answered my question there. Uh, yeah, fitting is the key. It is, unfortunately. Yes. Right. My kid keeps flipping. Hi, Jackie. Oh. You've made two clergy tops, delighted with them. Thanks for the pattern for a long time. Oh, lovely, good. Who knew that a clergy t-shirt was even a thing? I don't, I never, never, never even thought about it at all. Uh, Christine is asking, she needs cargo pants, I don't know if you've answered this, hoping to go to Costa Rica in November. Any chance of a safari coloured linen? Oh, safari coloured linen. Yeah. To be honest, we kind of get what we're given really. Uh, I can put requests in for stuff. Now, when you're saying safari, do you mean like a kind of khaki green kind of colour? I don't know. Maybe a kind of... Um, yeah. Attenborough look. <laughs> are you going for the David Attenborough look, are you? Yes. <laughs> that would be an interesting one. Yeah, Costa Rica. Yeah. Laurie, actually, yeah, have an idea to have a friend with you, but yeah, so they can help with the fitting. Friend could be pretend to be me. <laughs> <laughs> that would that sounds like a plan actually we could do that now somebody's asked earlier on if the old gold uh luxury crepe goes with the um cotton it does yes there we go i'm going to put the two together actually they look really nice together those two so yeah Ooh. let me close up there we go oh yes yeah. that works really well doesn't it yes. we like that that's cool that right other fabrics so i'm gonna pop that over there these are lovely. This is another one that we've got. I love this colour. It's like a proper duck egg blue. It's really gorgeous. Now, this is a new one. So I need to remember the name. Oh, I can't see what it's called. It's Lorino. And it's lovely. It's another pretty little floral one. But again, you've got lots of colours in here that you can pick out, which is really nice. I think that actually this would work really lovely with the... Uh, we've got a teal luxury crepe and the gold luxury crepe would work really nicely with this as well very pretty again it's 140 wide 145 wide actually and it's 100% cotton so it's really nice and breathable this would be lovely in all kinds of different patterns so you've got the and actually has it got a little bit of, oh no it hasn't one of them that we've got it's got a little bit of stretch I think it's the one I've just shown you um, I think that works, would work really nicely. Where's the teal? There it is. Oh, there we are. Look, that's quite nice, actually. Those two together are nice as well, aren't they? There. I think that works. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? I love putting fabrics together. This is the fun bit. This is like playing. But that's really cool. So this is Lorino. Again, 100% cotton. Works really nicely with that 
there we go. Now, I'm gonna bring out these two because I wanted to show you these two with this one. So I'm gonna pop that there for a sec. Let's get rid of my minty one. Ah, yes, now this is the one I was showing you earlier. I forgot to say, it's actually got a bit of stretch to it, which is really nice. It's got 2% spandex in this, which is really lovely. Actually, that looks really nice with that as well, doesn't it? Oh, look, see? There's too many things, too many combinations. I'm getting excited about fabrics. It's a bit sad, really, isn't it? That's just how you are, darling. I'm afraid it is. There we go. So we've got, now this one's nice. This is called Onlookers. I really like, I really like this. Ooh. You're not allowed to buy all of this because I want some. There we go. It's got faces on it. How cool is that? Yeah. And I love it because it goes with the um, chalky pink linen too. That's nice. I like that. That pleases me, that does. It kind of slightly reminds me, uh, who's the artist? Is, is it Matisse? No. <laughs> Are you thinking Picasso? No. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I know nothing. <laughs> uh, Yes, I could get inundated by pictures of <laughs> alterations. That's true, Brenda. Not that I would mind, but that's fine. Hi, Gail. You're late this morning. Don't worry, you can catch us on catch up. That's absolutely fine. Don't worry. Uh, can't decide which blue linen mix is, is, it, is it in the website. Yes, it is. We've got both of them, actually. We've got the Stripe, Tina. Oh, you careful at the microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> So we've got two, we've got the stripe linen or we've got the herringbone. Both of them are on the website. So those would make up beautifully. And we've got the penny people again, which, I've, which I know I've shown before, but it's back in again and it's lovely. And again, that just picks out that lovely soft kind of chalky pink in the linen there, which is really lovely. I like all of those, they're really nice. Faces of navy. Oh, no, don't worry, there is some in there. Tina, don't worry, the faces, the... Um... We'll go back in and just double check. She, Sharon's on the case. That's brilliant, brilliant. Oh, ace team we are, ace team. So, these are the kind of slightly muted -y sort of colours that I've got here. Now, I just want to show you some of the other ones. now. When we had it on here before, it just went. You know the fabric I mean, street art in fuchsia. It was absolutely gorgeous and I love it. And we've got it in a different colorway now, which is even more gorgeous. Look at this, this is fuchsia. Uh, this is street art, but in emerald. Oh, how gorgeous is this? I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I missed out on any last time and they're out of stock of the fuchsia. So I think I may have to go, there we go. I may have to go for some of this. It's the same light weight. So it's a bit lighter than a normal kind of cotton lawn, but it would look fantastic in Imogen or a Celia. Um, not really strong enough for a Cressida, unfortunately, but I think I'm trying to get them to put this print on a slightly more substantial substrate, actually, because I think that would look amazing. I love this and that goes perfectly with now we've got the lipstick which is the bright kind of shocking pink luxury crepe but also I think it works really nicely with this peacock so I think that just picks out those little butterflies in that fabric there as well oh, I love this They're, these are my kind of colors I love these muted ones and I think they look absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I love putting them all together. But yeah, these are really zingy. I love them. They're absolutely fabulous. They really are. Ah, the chalky pink, Sue. That's the one you were looking for. Cool. Maureen, you liking, you're liking the iris. I know, it's lovely. Now the iris we do, um, it comes with a little Peter Pan collar as well, actually. There we go. Now you wouldn't believe that those are actually the same pattern. 
it just shows you how adaptable it is. So all we've done is insert the ruffle through the princess seam for this version and then we've left it plain and popped on a little Peter Pan collar, which is really cute actually. So it's a nice way of utilising the pattern, so the pattern's really versatile. So we kind of wanted it to go from kind of day to evening and uh, I think that works. There we go. So actually, yeah, that would be really cool. Let's have a quick look, see if we've got any other questions. Uh, you like the eyes with or without the collar? I know, it's really nice actually. It does look good, it does look good. So we've got those ones. Now, this is another brighter one. And again, so I'm gonna pop that to one side. But actually, these two planes work really lovely, work really nicely with this uh, summer splendor. This is just a cotton lawn. I love it. It has a slight, again, it has a slightly sort of retro 70s kind of vibe to it, which I think is really cute. It reminds me of um, summer dresses my mum used to make when I was really little. Just really simple little kind of A-line thing with a frill on the bottom, no sleeves, that you just run around the garden with your flip-flops on. I love that. I think that's really cute. And we've also got the red... So that picks out the kind of slightly more orangey tones in there as well. This luxury crepe is really nice. It's such a gorgeous fabric. In fact, I could just spend all morning stroking it, actually. You've got work to do. I have. You? I have got a lot of work to do at the moment. <laughs> Planning new stuff, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold up that there we go. Yeah. Oh, zoom in a bit so people mm. see the pattern. Even I if love it's it. A bit blurry. Even if it's a bit blurry. It won't be blurry later. And it won't be blurry on the website. Exactly. There we go. We can only do what the technology allows us to do. Exactly. Exactly. So there we have it. That's quite a few fabrics that we've shown you today. Do let me know if you want us to kind of pare it down a bit or whether you're quite happy to just to see loads. Um, I always kind of get a bit carried away because I kind of think, oh yeah, that goes with that and that goes with that. So when we're kind of colour stories together, it does mean that there's a bit more going on here. Um, if we just focused on a particular type of fabric, then uh, that's a different thing altogether. But I actually quite like it when we're showing you things and how to put them together because I think it could look really cool. Um, I love this. I'm, I'm in an iris in this with a little collar on it would look just so cute, wouldn't it? I love that, I really do. Right, let's see if we've got any more questions. Uh, I had a trouser suit in the 60s Paisley. Oh, that's so cool. Is there any stretch to the crepe? It's, there isn't any stretch to it, but it has a natural kind of slight give to it. So there's no real stretch to it, but it, it kind of has a little bit of give to it. It's not too solid. It's actually really nice to wear. I've got a couple of tops made up in this and it's really lovely. Um, it, yeah, wide leg trousers would look really nice. And actually, in fact, the uh, Rosalind pyjama trousers in this would be really nice with a little top. I think that would be dead cute. So, oh, you prefer seeing loads, Adele? That's cool. Uh, you're cutting the calico. Julianne, you're cutting calico to make a pair of dungarees today while you wait for your Kate to arrive. Ah, lovely. Well, Kate actually would be really nice in this too. In fact, Kate is such a versatile pattern. It works in loads of different fabrics. Um, I had a navy one in the uh, luxury crepe actually, which looked really nice. Unfortunately, I've outgrown it. So it went a while ago. The last one, make a Cressida. Um, yeah, actually, I think this would make a Cressida. It's a cotton lawn. We haven't got a lot of it, though. That's the only problem. For some reason, they've only sent us six and a half metres, which is really frustrating. But there we go. I think that's a really cute, cute um, print, actually. Mel, you like the more fabrics, the better. Cool, then we will keep bringing them out. We've got another load arriving this afternoon. So hopefully we'll get those ready for you for next week. Uh, ooh, really slight squeal. <laughs> Juliana, Juliana said, ooh, really slight squeal, which I think is really funny. Uh, the more dynamic materials like street art 
and the one with the face is not seen the flowery one. Not keen on flowery ones. So Brenda, you like things that are a bit more, yeah, I know what you mean. I do like flowery things occasionally, but they do need to be a bit dramatic for me, really. So I love, I love this. I love this. You're not allowed to buy it all because I want some, please. So where are we? Oh, it's midday already. Good Lord. In a shop hard to find, hard to match. Yep. Yeah. Hard to met. This is great colour matching. Oh, good. That's good. The different... I'm just trying to catch up now because they keep moving. It's great to see all the different colour combos. It's hard to tell off a website what goes with what. I know it's true, actually. It really... Yeah. Although your bank balance doesn't love it, Linda. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> just think you're helping an independent business keep going through these tough times. That's all. So I'm going to call a halt to it there because... What are you going to remind me now? Uh, but so it can be. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're good. It was good, actually. Do you know what? I'm kind of warming up to it now. I was a little bit, mm, when it first started. But I have to admit, I'm actually quite liking some of the projects. Now, I know people kind of get a little bit irked by the fact that, you know, they're not that well made and they're not lined and stuff like that. But I kind of think, initially, I felt like that too. But I think you have to... Be aware that it's an entertainment show. And they are under huge time Oh, God, I know. There. Yeah, absolutely huge. I mean, I know quite a few of the people that have been on before, and the, t the pressures that they're under are absolutely incredible. But having said that, they're actually looking for more people. So they're looking for new applicants. So if you fancy having a go, do go on to uh, the Sewing Bee, the Love Productions website, and you can apply there. Um, it might be worth having a chat if you're on social media with some of the other people that have been on there. Um, and I'm sure they'll be able to tell you about their experiences and how fantastic it was. Um, I know Mark's really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. Um, so I think if you can cope with a little bit of pressure, you should be fine. Make it the most of it, actually. I think it'd be really good. And I loved his bomber jacket. I thought that was amazing. Really cool. And, um, oh God, I can't remember. I'm so crap with names. The... Um, it was the joint. Oh, yes. The jumper dress that he did at the end mm. that looked like some kind of Russian, mm. something out of Dr. Zhivago kind of thing. Yeah, I yeah. thought that was really cool as well. And the puffin dress as well, the puffin inspired dress. That was lovely with the lovely kind of zigzag bits on it too with all those colours. See, I actually managed to stay awake for it this time. So I was paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh dear. Oh, your pink, well, the pink parcels are great. You're loving our pink parcels. I'm really pleased about that, Christine. That's good. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell my husband that he's helping an independent business. That's good. <laughs> oh, dear. Also, a recommendation to catch up on if they've not seen it, Spring Watch. Oh, yeah, Spring Watch. Oh, I just love Chris Packham. He's in the same category as Grayson Perry, where I just want to put him in my pocket and take him home because he's just so cute. It's, um, yeah, Spring Watch this week. I'm going to catch up because we only caught the first one and we've got to watch the others on iPlayer now, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Which we'll catch up on over the weekend. Um, we never really seem to manage to watch things at the right time. I don't know if you're like that. There's too much else going on, really, isn't there? But I think that would be definitely... We need to catch up on Grayson as well, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's too many... Too, the weather's too nice and uh, to be out in the garden and doing stuff, really, isn't it? But there we go. Um... I mean, Julia Sutton says, I'm only going to apply if you can come with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I wish, I wish. That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it, actually? Oh, dear. How scratchy would that be? Oh, Christine, I missed your comment there. Let me just go back and see if I can find what you've asked is scratchy. Pink parcels are great. Love to see the story fabric. Uh, I'm not quite sure what you're... <laughs> How scratchy would that be? I'm, um, I think you might have mistyped there, well, no, but no, that's I, fine. I think it might be Brenda's comment about oh. using the shopping bag oh, fine. to See, make a garment. I can't keep up with all the comments. Yes. So, shopping bags to make a garment yourself. Uh, no, would you wouldn't. You ever try that? No, of course not. But it's a creative process. We used to get, um, when I was lecturing, we would have uh, an upcycling project that we would start one of the first, some of the first year students with. And no, it's not about wearability. It's about creativity. It's about thinking out the box and how you would use something. Um, so, oh, I'm just watching a spider crawling up its 
thing there. Yeah. <laughs> little spiders, sorry, I got distracted again. Really sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's about creativity, really, and thinking outside the box. So, which is quite a good one to do with something that's not really um, an expensive fabric. So you can be a little bit more experimental. And if it goes wrong, it's not really going to be the end of the end of the world. So, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's kind of where the why they're doing things like that. It doesn't feel like it's um, proper stuff, but actually, it's all about engaging creativity, which is quite a cool thing to do. Uh, oh, Tina. So herringbone is one fifty wide, and so it was two or two and a half. Um, it depends on how tall you are, Tina. Really, um, you could probably, if you're about five three, five four, five three, you could probably scrape with two. If you're anything over than that, I'd go for two and a half. Um, because otherwise you're going to give yourself ankle grazers for trousers. Uh, it depends on what trousers you're making as well, actually. If it's Hero, you can probably, if you want them, they're summer ones and they can be ankle grazers, that's fine. If it's Porsche, I'd definitely go with two and a half because you want those to sit properly. There we go. Uh, is the crepe suitable for PJ trousers? Sean, absolutely it is. Uh, Oh, Amy, you're sorting out fabric and you've just found a linen tablecloth. Oh, a good idea, actually. Repurpose it into a pair of trousers. That sounds perfect. Oh, you're, yes, you're applying to Brenda. I'm just trying to keep up. That's all. There we go. Right. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. It's going to be glorious out there. Uh, what are we doing at the weekend, Charlie? Oh, we're shed sorting. There you go. Just thought I'd keep you informed on that one. Um, and I have FGT. To oh, write. yes, Charlie's writing FGT. I don't know if you've come across it. It's called Five Good Things. Charlie writes it. It's a little email that goes out every Sunday morning. Um, and it's about five good things that he's found somewhere. It could be anything, really. It's actually quite an interesting little read. Even I read it sometimes, too. <laughs> and <laughs> so you can sign up to that from his website, which is a tall photographer. And uh, don't forget, we've got. Um, stock taking next week so make sure you get your orders in over the weekend and that way we can get them out to you as part of our kind of signing things off for the stock take um have a fabulous weekend everybody and hopefully we will see you next week for techniques tuesday take care and have a lovely weekend